All righty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. Right here in Northeast Georgia. All righty, man. We have us a fresh repaired off the hot plate Palomar Elite 600. And, uh,. Sound like a UPS or FedEx or somebody here. Well, we got somebody else here to take care of that. Well, anyway, <clears throat> we uh we uh done done a few things in here, as you can see. <laughs> All righty, we're getting close to running out of battery power here. The flash just turned off. All right, this right here is an SRF 3749 driving four SRF 3749s, okay? The two here are, uh, what are they? 37... I can't see without bending that down, but basically, uh, Motorola made a 3749 and a 37 something else. I cannot remember. Hold on a second here. 3795. That's right. All right. These two are 3795s. These two are 37, 3749s. You ask yourself, how, you can't use two transits. All right. Let me explain. All right. Motorola 454s. Motorola 3749s, Motorola 37 3222s. Uh, there's like three or four more. They're all the same exact transistors. Okay. I'll be in just a second, buddy. I'm almost done with this video, okay? <clears throat> These, that's a cigarette, by the way. These two match with each other, of course. They're the same lot. And they also match with these. And they work well with each other as well. Okay. I was kind of weird about doing it at first. I tried it out. Works great. They're the same transistor anyway. I don't know why Motorola. I don't know why they just didn't stick with one and just named them 454. But anyway, <clears throat> these amps normally come with a smaller transistor like a 455 driver. We've done a little bit of work to it, and it's a four. It's pretty much like a 454 driving four 454s. Done a little bit of mods to it to get it to accept that and handle that. We've thrown a 1000 and a 100 going to ground right here. Okay. I've had feedback circuits to the whole amp. I don't know why they don't use feedback circuits on these amps. They're very well, this is the last video. They're very well needed. Feedback circuits keep the amplifier from from oscillating keeps it keeps it uh balanced anybody gets a little crazy with driving it it helps all right another thing i did was i added 560 picofarad more capacitance on each transformer okay just a little mod i've been playing around with and getting decent results out of it all righty this is ab1 biased the transformers are grounded on the input transformers Alrighty, I did a couple other small things like strengthening up the hot bus, uh, throwing solder on the strengthen up. I always like to do that. I also had to retune the input and the output on this. It was somebody had gotten there and played around with it. That wasn't no big deal. And I think that's about it, man. Um, I got this transist uh, amp and all the uh, transistors were blown, so I hooked the power wire up backwards. I replaced the diode right there. That was blown when they did that. And there we go. All right. Let me introduce something new to the arsenal. All right. My problem here is I've got a 200 amp supply over there. I've got a, uh, that's about a 40 to 50 amp supply there unregulated. But it floats at 16 volts. I've got a. Mr. Real Deal, DC Power, 100 amp, unregulated, right there. And I got my uh, 35, 36 right there. All right. 
This is an AB1 bias amplifier. I don't really want to hook it up on the unregulated. So I've kind of needed a power supply that's bigger, but regulated. Well, now I got one. <laughs> Y'all don't laugh at me now. Y'all don't laugh at Mr. Gatekeeper. I threw me together a little 75 amp fully regulated with variable voltage. I won't get into that. I, I might do another video on that. But I didn't have no voltmeters around. Like I said, don't laugh at me. So I took this little $4 voltmeter and put it on the front here. Okay, you asked yourself, well, what's that switch for? Well, I've done a little bit of modification to this $4 voltmeter. I basically just wanted to use this voltmeter for this from now on. I didn't want to have to get over here every time when I get done and, and turn this. Because this don't have an automatic turn off feature. So I just got in there, done some reworking to it, and I've, I've got it on a switch, as you can see here. Turns it off and on, okay? I also modified it down here at the bottom to give two wires out so I wouldn't have to have something plugged in on the front to test the voltage. So I got it out going up there. Okay, anyway, it's a 75 amp regulated supply. I could turn it down to about 12 volts and up to about 15.4, about the same as like this right here. Okay, and I could do it even more crazy and get it up to about 20. I'm going to give a special shout out to Mr. Real Deal DC Power. My home boy out there in the Arkansas area. Appreciate it, bud. Y'all always looking out for me, big brother. Hey, y'all, we do need friends in this world. I don't care what y'all say. And if you don't think you need friends in this world, well, you're just going to be a lonely... Well, we won't get into all that. All right. Let's turn this off. Show you what we're going to be putting in it. we got to hurry up. Alright, about 20 watts PEP. As you saw over here, we're on 13.86. Okay. I need to put an LED on that thing. That's the only thing I didn't do. Alright, we're going to turn it on low. Here we go. No, about 400 watts on the bird, 1,000 watt slug. You can see that, 1,000 watt slug. About 80 bird. All right, we're going to go ahead and just flip it on the high, y'all, and just let it rip. Oh, that's about 508. Oh, it's about 120 bird. Oh, take a look at this regulation, y'all. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. All right. Y'all see that? I'm going to go ahead and crank it on up to 15.3. Probably ain't going to make much of a difference, but. Oh, Input tune. Since I retuned it. Oh, Beautiful. Bird. Oh, Ooh, that increased about 150 bird or so. Oh, yeah. About 160. All right, real quick. Like I said, this is pretty much like a 454 driving four. So this is kind of more of a high drive type amp with a driver in it. So we're going to go ahead and show you that. Hook up in a nice uh, Mr. Stickman modified hot radio. We'll put about eight bird. I think I forgot to mention that in the last. I was putting four bird. We're going to double the input power and put about eight to nine bird. Yes, I'm running the stick man on low voltage to get it. I want to kind of do completely double instead of uh, doing like 10 bird. Okay. Turn that off. That on. All right, got the radio on. 
Okay, everything's on. All right, peak first. Oh, chill, 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 chill. About 615. Bird. Oh, yeah. About 180. Oh, yeah. Regulation. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, there you go. Input tune. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, input tune's not hooked up right now. No, chill, 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 oh, chill, 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 chill. Right there, about 600 watts PEP. What is it called? It's called a Palomar Elite 600. <laughs> so it can handle, actually, a little bit more drive than that. Um, of course, uh, this amp could have more output easily. But it is what it is. That's what the amp's doing. Um, which ain't too bad, you know, it's almost doing about 200 bird. Um, it, you know, I could hit it a little bit harder if I wanted to, but it's doing about 200 bird, 600 watts peak, pretty much PEP. Hey man, this should last you well. Like I said, it can take a little bit more higher drive now because of the, the 454 there but there you go y'all nice little uh palomar 600 with a little twist not not as as much twist as uh that last one uh, i i repaired <laughs> all righty well y'all have a good one man this is the last one i'm about to go eat and relax Mr. Gatekeeper said, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Not an Xmas, but a Christmas, man. Representing the birth, big brother. Mr. Gatekeeper around the northeast end of Georgia. 73rds.